Hey guys and welcome back to another stock analysis video and today I'm going to be going over a company that actually debuted on the stock market back around October and it IPO'd for a price of around 10 to 12 dollars and it's already grown to around 25 dollars in just a month and a half and if you can't see it on my screen already that company is going to be Fubo TV. Like I just said, this stock is a pretty hot stock recently, but you can see that it actually got off to a fairly slow start, and unfortunately, I missed out on this. But this recent growth is something that has to do with a couple of catalysts that I'll go over with you in just a minute, but I think that this growth will be sustained, so I wouldn't be too afraid to buy it where it is currently. Fubo TV is basically like Roku, Sling, Hulu, any of these streaming services that are starting to offer live TV. You can see here that they offer three main plans, with the Family Plan, the Elite Plan, and the Fubo Latino Plan. Basically, the more you pay, the more channels you're going to get. But I do like the fact that they have a plan specifically devoted to the Latino community. I don't know for sure, but I think they're one of the only live TV services that has this. This platform is available on all of the main devices that you would use, including Roku, Amazon TV, Apple TV, even Xbox. And it has a very clean design as you can see here. Also, Fubo TV kind of prioritizes themselves as a place where you can watch sports channels. So you can see here that they actually have channels that cover almost every major sport. One of the main catalysts that has caused this stock to really blow up recently is their recent financial report. You can see here that Fubo TV ended the quarter with 455,000 subscribers, which is up almost 60% year over year. And the average revenue per user was $67, which means that some of the users aren't even buying the cheapest plan, and instead they're starting to see their users opt in for the more premium plans, which is always something that these subscription-based services can make a lot of money off of. Another one of the recent catalysts for this company, as you can see here, is the heavy sports calendar. With the pandemic... Many of the sports were delayed or canceled, and all of the sports seasons have been kind of concentrated into this last quarter of the year. And it's for this reason that I think we're seeing a lot of people sign up for these television services and a lot of demand for these sports channels, which Fubo TV specializes in. I think their quarter four earnings will actually be far more impressive than the earnings from this quarter. Although obviously they won't release until later, so this might be a great time to get in before those earnings come out. One of the other things that came out of those earnings is a significant price target increase from many different analysts. You can see that this one specific analyst called their quarterly earnings report impressive, reiterated his outperform rating, and raised his price on the stock by around $6.00. Another analyst points out that compared to its competitors such as Netflix, Roku, and there's many more, but Fubo is significantly discounted to any of its competitors that you could compare it to. It's the most inexpensive way to get on this cutting the cord trend. Now what exactly was I talking about with that cutting the cord trend? It's the fact that people are moving away from your traditional television services into these digital live TV services. This chart here shows the number of households that aren't currently paying for a traditional television service from 2019 to 2024. Obviously, the 2020 and on is estimated, but you can see that they estimate it to almost double in the next four years. And obviously, all of these people aren't just going to stop watching television altogether. They're going to find an alternative, and some of their alternatives are going to be in the form of Fubo. A quick interruption in the video, if you've made it this far, I hope that you're liking it and I hope that you would consider subscribing to support us. We're on the way to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. That's been our goal since the beginning of this channel. So if you can click that button, if you're enjoying it so far, it's free and I believe that our stock picks could make you some money. But getting right back into the video, you can see another one of the main catalysts is Fubo considering offering online sports betting. They've been linked to companies such as FanDuel, as well as many others. But they say that they think they can enhance the viewing experience if they partnership 
with a betting company. Obviously, Fubo TV would have interest in this, and you can see that other companies also have interest in partnering with them. You can see that they've received, quote, constant interest from parties in the sports betting industry. So if they choose to go this route, I don't think they'll have any problems trying to find a partner. Speaking even more about partners, you can see that they've announced a brand new partnership with JetBlue Airways to bring their product onto their flights. They've also partnered with Lion Gate Entertainment, and I'm sure these partnerships will continue. I love how innovative this company is, and I think they're always looking to improve their product and to make their experience the best they can for their customers. This is a great stock that I'm certainly considering buying, as I think it has a great short and long term potential. If you did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like down below to show your support and leave any comments about any stocks that you might have or any advice for us. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one.